Hey, my 50 Licious viewers, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to kind of do a follow up. I think I'm going to do a series of follow ups on my use of Rogaine. Um, obviously, that is the most popular video on my still new channel. Um, a lot of people have been asking, what do you do about the dryness that Rogaine causes? And I should also say Minoxidil. For Afro textured hair, African American hair, I have 4C hair. What do you do with the dryness that comes with that when you're using the product? I use the foam um, practically daily, not every single day anymore, but literally I use my laser cap two to three times a week and I use my Rogaine almost daily or Minoxidil almost daily. Can you use other products with this treatment to combat the dryness? And the short answer is yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I hate when people make videos and then, you know, if they say they're going to answer a question, then you have to wait five or six minutes. No, you don't have to wait that long. The answer is yes. If you want to hear some details, stick around. Okay. In this video, I'm going to talk about oils and minoxidil are oils and Rogaine. People use them interchangeably, so I'm gonna use it interchangeably even though I do use the, the generic form of minoxidil with, um, from CVS and from mainly from Walgreens. You can also get it from Walmart. Equate, Walgreens brand, CVS brand, as long as the active ingredient is the same as the foam women's version that I use, whatever's on sale, that's what I buy. I have not noticed any difference in the effectiveness. So let me just start there. The other thing is um, oils. I am a proponent of hair oil. I literally oil my scalp. I'll, I don't do it every day because I just don't have that much hair anymore, but I use Jamaican black castor oil and I also use coconut oil and I put drops of rosemary oil in this oil mixture. Drops of rosemary oil, which has been known to stimulate the scalp. There's other things like tea tree oil. You can make kind of make up your own mixture. That's been working for me. And I put it in these spots. I even put it on my temples. I used to have um, baldness, traction, alopecia at my temples. That's a whole nother video, which I'm going to do as well. Enjoying this video? Well, please take the time to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you'll be alerted of all my new videos. Thank you. I mix together the oils and I use the oils in the morning. So I will wet my hair just with water or maybe with a little conditioner and water. I'll talk about conditioners and things like that in another video. So I just keep this to oils and Rogaine, but I put that on my scalp in the morning, mainly in this area, but I'll usually massage my, my whole scalp. Um, but I use the minoxidil foam at night. You must use it on a dry scalp, according to the directions. And if your hair, if your scalp or your hair was wet, it needs to be dried at least two hours, either before or after. So if you use it, then you should not wet your hair. You shouldn't go shampoo your hair right after you use it because then it hasn't really absorbed, I guess, into the follicles in your scalp like it needs to. So your scalp needs to be dried before you do anything else. So the best way for me to do that is to simply um, do it at different times of the day. So at night, I use minoxidil foam in the areas that are thinning, generally here, but mostly these areas that I'm trying to keep hair on, obviously, that's grown back. And in the mornings, as I'm getting dressed for my day, I'll spritz my hair with some type of water and moisturizer or leave-in conditioner. I'll spritz my hair just to get it, you know, just a little bit wet or damp. Then I put my oil mixture in those areas. And so therefore, I'm not um, reducing the effectiveness of the foam and I'm still getting my oils in my hair to combat my hair from being dry because it, it it does dry your hair out. It will change the texture of your hair a little bit. I have not seen breakage 
or any way I haven't seen any very damaging effects from the use of minoxidil foam but again I have very short hair I probably cut my hair every four weeks or so I'm cutting my hair because I've chosen to keep my hair short because it's not as thick as it used to be and I don't want to have longer hair with thinner spots here and longer there you get what I'm saying I'm not trying to do that I'd rather have short cropped um, coiffed hair than to have long hair that you could read a newspaper through that's just my druthers I just rather deal with this and love myself like this so that's the answer to oils and Rogaine the answer is yes I separate them morning for the oils nighttime for the, the treatment and styling products and things like that so I hope this answers some questions of course you're gonna let me know in the comments because our hair is so important to us and I'm um, just so blessed to have my hair grown back I pray in the name of Jesus for every woman every man anybody that's watching this video that is just seeking to get their hair back to simply just have a healthy head of hair so they can just do life with confidence I pray Lord God in the name of Jesus that you would work together with whatever they're doing with their faith with their hope and especially with whatever products they're using Father God and do it in the name of Jesus I pray you are a healer Lord God you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you and we're seeking you Lord God first and all of these other things Lord God we're asking you to do for our creature comforts here on earth we thank you and we praise you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.